All right, now if you're a fan of Kevin Smith, you pretty much know the whole history of his career. Clerks in 1994 pretty much jump-started his career. Then throughout the years, he's done a bunch of original franchises. He's even turned down huge comic book franchises to do original, his own original material. Which is kind of weird because he's considered a fanboy, basically. He does his podcasts, these geeky podcasts with comic book topics and... Um, now he's got that blog with the and his own TV show on AMC, Comic Book Men, which is an awesome show. If you haven't seen it, it's kind of like Pawn Stars, but in a comic book store with blog segments in between. So, throughout the years, he's always talked about, oh, the 20-year anniversary is going to be the ending of the trilogy of Clerks in uh, early March 2013 now. He's drumming up his own hype. He posted on Facebook, his own Facebook, the cover sheet, the title sheet of Clerks 3, which, I don't know, it kind of seems like he's trying to motivate himself to write it because he's always wanted to make it come out in 2014. And it's getting to that point where, he's, where he has to write it and get all the actors together because you know he's going to try and get... Obviously, he needs the original crew back, which he obviously is going to get back. And then he always has huge cameos because he's got a lot of friends in the industry. He even He's even drawn up his own hype in the media. Every interview he does, talking about Clerks 3, and he wants Jeff Anderson back, the guy who plays the slacker Randall character. I guess he's been hesitant to return, but that seems that he's... He's on board. It seems he's talked him into it because he officially announced that he's working on Clerks 3. And he's like, this is going to be my best film ever. Not really, even though Clerks 2 is terrible. If you remember, um, at the let's talk about Clerks 2, the last film in the franchise. Dante and Randall, the two main characters who are the convenience store quick stop workers, in the opening, Randall left the coffee pot on and he ends up burning down the quick stop. So they end up having to work at the local fast food joint. And then it's like colored the whole movie. It's not black and white like the first one. And then I'm going to talk about the ending now. So if you want to rewatch them all, I'd rewatch them all. I'm going to talk about the ending of the second one. So we get to the ending and they all end up in jail and. Remember, Dante wants to move to Florida and break up the gang and leave his best friend Randall. Then Randall, then Jay and Silent Bob offer to them the money of the residuals they're making from Jay and Silent Bob movie to make to uh, buy the Quick Stop and reopen it, and that's what ends up happening. Dante marries uh, Rosario Dawson's character, and then they end up reopening the quick stop convenience store and it goes to black and white so i guess it's going to return to its roots in the third one back of the quick stop black and white talking about geeky comic book conversations random humor 2006 was an awesome year for comedies but i was really let down by clerks too but i know that there's fanboys out there who just probably just absolutely loved it just for it to come out but uh so this is exciting for everyone and Kevin Smith fans. Expected in 2014, according to Kevin Smith, no official release date yet. This was JBM from Villain News. Click on the channel for more upcoming movie videos. I'm out.